Yo, guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video on Ark Survival Ascended. And in this video, I am going to show you how to host your own server inside of Ark Survival Ascended and kind of explain all the options you have anywhere from runting, dedicated, non-dedicated, solo play, everything. I'm going to walk you through step by step in order what to do. So let's go ahead and go back to the main menu so I can show you all your options and how to actually get started with all this. Now, before we start, if you don't mind, smash that like button, leave a comment below for that algorithm, and then consider subbing to the channel. I am insanely close to 100k and that's been my dream. All right, so once you open up the initial screen of Arc, you've got essentially two options to select from. You've got join game and then create and resume game. We're going to kind of focus on the create and resume game because that's how you host your own server. However, if you were to do a join game, what this would enable you to do would be able to play on official networks. So any of the PVP um, PVE servers, you could click on any of the ARC based servers. These are all servers that ARC itself hosts. You can go to unofficial servers, right? And unofficial servers are going to be things that you would rent from Wildcard or someone else that you bought a server or hosted your own server. You can see non-dedicated servers. These are these are servers that someone would create on their own, like I'm about to show you to do, and then your favorites list, right? So that's that part explained, but that's pretty simple. Now, where people kind of enjoy Arc the most is by clicking into this create or resume game, right? Now there's two options, basically. You can, well, I guess there's two options to start. You've got single player and then non-dedicated. When you are playing in single player, the only person <clears throat> that can play in your game is you it is a single player world save so no one can ever access your files the only person that can play in that game is you in order to do that you would just click on the type of game you would want to play there will inevitably be more <clears throat> arcs that are available here and then underneath mod arcs there will also be maps that people make over time so all you would have to do would be to click on the one that you want. This is for, I guess, if you're playing PlayStation or Xbox, you would just not click, but scroll over to whatever you want to play and then click single player. Now, single player is going to load you into a new single player game if you've never played single player before, or if you're creating, I guess, going back to your save, what's going to happen is it's going to bring you back to the exact point where you logged out of your single player game. You can see that I logged out right here when I clicked last and it's gonna log me right back in wherever I left. Now, a quick tip for you, if you're playing solo mode, sometimes Arc Survival Ascended can get a little bit wonky. So hit escape every now and then, or go to your menu on console and click save game. Save game will do something called a save world command, and that will essentially lock that position wherever I just logged out in case something happens. So if you do something big, always click that save world. Now. That is how you do solo player mode, right? So in order to do what's called non-dedicated, non-dedicated is essentially a lot of people don't realize this, but it's a game mode that you host the server on your machine for anybody that wants to log in. That means friends, you could leave it to public so anyone can log in. I could name one called TGT and I could just let it go, right? Um, you can play on any mod map you want. So you can play on the Svartalfheim or you can play on the island or in the long run once islands come out or other maps come out you can click on those and then run it now you would click non-dedicated and then you would name your session what you want i'm going to name it tgt and then i'm going to make the admin password whatever i want right i'm just going to call it one 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 basically all that means is that i've got a session name here and then if i want to use console commands i have to use this password so that way in case anyone logs into your server they don't have access to actually use console commands now you can also click this box and this will enable you to have a private match versus actually not having a private match right so private match means you have to have a password so only people that you invite can get in whereas if you uncheck this box anybody can join so usually people want to check that box they kind of forget to do so and then you click accept now once you click accept it's going to load you into a game right now i'm going to go ahead and kind of show you what i mean by that so it's going to load me in here and it's going to load you into your solo player last point now you can also erase the game file and i'll show you that in a second but it's going to load you in now in order to invite people you would just open up your steam or on xbox and console open up your uh invite server friends list and you can invite people and they can come join 
However, there's one thing that you need to be aware of. They are tethered to you. Now, what that means is that any player <clears throat> that comes and joins has a distance, the maximum distance they're allowed to walk away from you because it's like a bubble if you want to think of it that way. They can only go a short distance in order to actually play the game away from you. Now, they'll be locked inside of that zone, so it'll kind of like let rubber band them back and forth if they hit the edge of it. And you can change that tether distance in the long run. In order to do that, you can just check out these options here, right? So people don't realize this, but you've got settings. You can see host administration. You can actually open up your entire uh, user, um, what's it called, show admin manager, so you can see all of your options and stuff like that. Uh, you can also go ahead and go to uh, settings and settings will open up everything that you need to for your generic stuff. But if you want to change the actual settings of the map, you will have to go back to the main menu. And when you go back to the main menu, you can actually modify all your settings just by going into game rules, advanced engrams. You can add mods into it by clicking available mods and adding them over to active mods. And that will you enable to play mods with your friends if they want to come over and play. And then you can go into your game rules, advanced, engrams, and all of these. And it will modify all of your individual settings, allowing you to play with whatever style you want to play with. And that is how you host a non-dedicated session. Now, in order to search for a non-dedicated session, if you create a password or do anything like that, your friends can actually go to non-dedicated, that tab we found earlier, and they can join you that way, right? It's pretty easy to do, and it's very simple. So you can either do that or you can rent a server from Nitrato or a server person that you kind of install Arc on for yourself. You can play unofficial, which is usually those rented servers, including the ones you could rent yourself. You can see I have mine right here or you can play official. And those are all of your options in order to play Arc. So hopefully this video helps you out. Hopefully it walks you through how to host, what to do, all the settings, all that kind of stuff. I, if you haven't seen my settings video, that's how you can kind of mess with that. Now, if you want to start from scratch, my last tip is if you click delete all single player saves, it's going to go through and actually click all of your individual player saves and erase everything. However, you can also just hover over this little like uh, floppy disk looking thing and you can click individual delete single player save and that will you ena enable you to actually go through and restart on that thing. So if you want to restart with your buddies on a non dedicated server, that's how you would do it. So. That's everything you should need to know to host your own server, whether you want to go for like a rental server or to host a non-dedicated session. And hope this helps you out. But if you don't mind, smash that like button, leave a comment below for the algorithm and consider subbing to the channel. All right, teach. Ow.